All right, I want to use as little waste as possible, so I need to use um, but there's always going to be a little bit of waste so I just want to minimize it as much as possible and so this is the root beer I'm doing a small, this will be 8 to 9 inch slant face. So, put it on this side so I cat on the outside of the line, right on the line. This should be enough to do. most of the lure so line that up take my pen make a mark These inserts aren't exactly square, got straight lines, they are all a little bit different, so luckily. Aqua Blue My uh, Maui LLC. They sent me these to practice with, which was very nice of them. And get those lined up on there with the. We got 3M, 3M tape on them, nice hard flat surface, and then I take my scissors and just trim them. And there's one side. it again. Pins are a little bit over. I can go ahead and make them a little bit large. It may look like I'm wasting quite a bit of materials here, but I'm really not. The 
this way rather than trying to be exact this allows me to cut them to the exact shape of what the lure is because like I said they're not not completely square go two sides and if you notice on the bottom there's lead that's the kill weight so it'll always ride in the water slant face large large slant up that way whenever it goes through the water it'll catch the water and it'll throw the tail different directions so. take the side I've already cut that way I know you could see here that one's actually got a slope that's not even close to being straight but once I pour it in the resin and stuff you won't even know as long as the as long as decorations good and the um, the weight's on the bottom. The weight will keep it running. Just a quick little tutorial on how I go ahead and decorate my lure inserts. I know I promised that I'd have some uh, lure building in my channel. I've been so busy doing doing pins and bottle stoppers and everything for my videos that it's time to do some lures and get them cast if you haven't seen my Instagram there's a couple of uh, lure inserts that I've already um, decorated these will be poured next week. This one turned out really nice. Glass eyes. Put my label on the bottom. Hero Salt Lures. That's dedicated to all of I come up with that name because I've spent the last 25 years working in law enforcement and also with this pandemic and stuff there's a lot of heroes out there that aren't being recognized and so I'm uh, go ahead and name it
I got to be careful because I leave them out here on my bench and then end up getting gobbledygook on them and stuff. So, and this is one of the seven inch, seven to nine inch uh, slant face. You know, I could do it that way. Gotta leave enough for the back. If I do it that way. Either way, I'm gonna have a little bit of over. So, let's do it this way. Won't mess anything up. Tell you what, these hard metal rulers are kind of nice. I'm sure glad I ended up getting that. Be careful with the shell because you can end up chipping it. You cut too close to the other stuff, and you usually feel it when you do. So we got four sides covered. Then I'll show you how we're going to take care of the hole in the shell. That was, uh, that took, I had to um, do some thinking on that whenever I because. These two, the tube's glued in. The tube's not coming out. I'll show you how on this one. I'll show you how I um, remedied that. I'll 
these I may have a little bit more waste because I got to drill the holes before I ever cut the, the piece out so I'll grab a small drill bit I gotta get my other drill bit set. So. Go with 764 to start with. We have to do something. Small piece of scrap wood. Turn and revert your drill in reverse to start with. Then forward. And drills right through it. And got a little bit of chip out. Wasn't expecting that, but that's okay. I can And cover that up. So that's how you take care of Well, there was something going on with the power, so I uh, went ahead and finished this, put some eyes on it, 